the FIFO method or it is called the first in first out method. What this method is, is that it is assumed that goods which are bought first would be consumed first, would be sold first, would be used first. This is what usually would happen. In the normal course of business, we would assume the goods that we have purchased first would be used up first. We have a small example here. A trader purchases plastic containers. On 1st January, he buys 1000 containers at rupees 50 each. On 15 January, he buys 2000 containers at 55 each. On 21st January, 700 containers at 60 each. On 31st January, 1300 containers at 62 each. Assuming that there was an opening inventory of 500 containers at the rate of rupees 48 each. This is your opening stock. And the sales for January amounted to 4500 containers at rupees 75. Determine the closing stock, the cost of goods sold and profit under FIFO method of inventory evaluation. What happens here is that when there are the sales in January of 4,500 containers, the cost of sales is computed as below. The oldest stock, which is the opening inventory, 500 units at the rate of rupees 48 would be used first, followed by 1000 units at rupees 50. Next, the 2000 units at rupees 55. 700 containers at rupees 60. And finally, 300 units at rupees 62. This total cost would amount to 2,44,600. What happens in first in first out method is that the balance inventory which remains in hand is the latest stock of inventory. Because the goods which have been purchased first have been sold first. So the balance inventory always is out of the latest stock. This is cost of goods sold. And what is our inventory? Inventory is we had 500 containers. We purchased 5000 containers. So total of 5,500 container stock minus 4,500 containers sold. Therefore, we have 1,000, a stock of 1,000 units, 1,000 plastic containers as closing inventory. This 1,000 units would be of the goods purchased last, that is on 31st January. Goods purchased last on 31st January. Therefore, this value would be 1000 units into 62 equal to 62,000. Let us just go through this table. Sales is 4500 containers at rupees 75 as given, 3,37,500. Opening inventory would be 500 containers at rupees 48 each, again given to you, 24,000. The purchases are all the purchases, 1000 containers into 50, 2000 into 55, 700 into 60, 1300 into 62, amounting to 2,82,600. The closing inventory, as I said, would be 1000 units which are left. And they are valued at rupees 62 because we are following the FIFO method. 62,000. 
the cost of goods sold may be computed as opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory 244600 and the profit would be sales minus cost of goods sold sales minus cost of goods sold equal to 92900 therefore we have determined the closing stock the cost of goods sold and profit under FIFA. First in, first out.